What's going on everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dollyboard and today we are reviewing the Manbali, Manbali LED RGB light. Whatever it is that you do, do the damn thing. Now, if you saw the unboxing short a while back, I did like the presentation overall, but let's take a look at what you get in the package. You get a little surprisingly aluminum, mostly aluminum ball head here. You get a USB-C cable. It's 2023. I don't think I have to talk about USB-C anymore, but once in a while, something sneaks through. You get a very nice felt bag that actually fits everything and you get a diffuser and that's the real champion here. Let's go over the hardware real quick. Now, obviously you can see the LEDs here, which is why the diffuser helps a ton in this situation. Uh, on the side here, you have the Kelvin adjustment uh, that goes from 3000 to 6500 Kelvin. And then you have the brightness adjustment, which goes, of course, zero to 100. Your USB-C charging port on the top, and you have a power button and a mode button. Other side has nothing. Back has some LEDs to show you which mode you're in, and it has an LED status for the battery. First, turn it on. The main mode will turn on, and the battery indicator will be there. And you switch modes the LED indicator will move as needed. Now, obviously I'm pretty well lit already, but let's just go ahead and turn it on right here about the same distance as my other light and we'll see what we get as far as brightness. Pretty solid. That's actually, that actually cleaned it up a lot. <laughs> that cleaned up the shot a lot. Uh, I looked at it. Why do I always look at it? Let's go ahead and fit it into its little housing here. What I like is that it's not just a like a plastic cover up front, which I have a couple lights that, that do that. It's actually a silicone cover. The light body fits in the back of the diffuser. There is a little lip in the inside here, so it actually doesn't get pushed in. Uh, so you, what you get is you get a little distance from the LEDs as well as the diffusion, and it's a little curved, it's a little arc. Uh, which I don't know if that helps, but uh, it seems to. So here we go with same distance with diffusion. I think that's a lot, like a lot cleaner. And I can look at it without my corneas burning out. Now that is, I think, full. Oh no, that wasn't full brightness. This is full brightness, which you're not going to see a ton of difference here. But if we, let's say, turn off the backlight or the top light, as it were, and now turn it on it's significant it's significant also three light setup you know that's it's classic i just personally like having a little shadow on there now we have a bunch of different modes so obviously we're going to have different hues and the kelvin adjuster actually lets you switch what hue you're at it's so interesting there's the green so and it's it's just like a it's a little toggle so you're holding it the whole time for it to switch uh and I don't necessarily love that because I prefer to have a little more dialed in control, but you'll take what you can get at the price, right? Now we're going to switch to flashing lights. So warning there. So that's the one mode. And you actually, again, hold the little trigger to switch how fast it flashes. Let me check the book. All right. And this time I actually kept the book because I wasn't sure. I, I honestly didn't want to have to look around for the features and have to try to have to figure out everything. So what you have to, it's a little complicated. So it's a little, it's a little toggle. It does have a hold option. So let's, let's switch over to the flashing lights again, warning. So what you do is you actually hold the little switch, not hold rather, but just like flick it up or down to switch modes of special effects. And then using the brightness controller will actually slow it down or speed it up. So like, this is what we have on the lowest speed setting, but then we speed it up, right? So we switch over, fast switching. So there are seven modes, just 21 special effects. I'm gonna say, oh yeah, the like speeds and levels, right? So three speeds per, uh, so warming, colorful lights, party, music, fire, photo, and lightning. Uh, and that's various versions of what you just saw. Uh, one of those switches. Honestly, I think the best use case here is having a really, really solid light. Um, especially being this close. Honestly, I have the, the way light and you guys know, I love that way light, but because the diffuser is like out further away, it's a nicer diffusion, right? It's not as intense of a light, even though it's right here, it's actually closer now than the other one. So I'm gonna turn this one off, right? So that I didn't lose much, but conversely, also this one takes longer to start up for some reason. Conversely, if I turn this off, that's, that's all. I mean, granted, again, facing, this one's facing forward, that one's not, but it's here, fine. Facing down, facing about the same direction. 
And again, if I turn this off, not really losing much. The nearly lowest brightness. So we go from that to that. Pretty solid. Pretty solid, honestly. Pretty good range on the light. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out is that it is actually pretty solid of a build. I was expecting it to kind of be cheap feeling because it's plastic. Um, but even, like, this almost, like, I know it's plastic. But it feels hefty enough to almost believe that it's aluminum. The front is plastic. It's not glass, obviously. Uh, it, but overall, it's it's nice. It's pocketable. Uh, I even think, I mean, this being silicone, you could kind of squish this, pocket it, and then... You have your setup back in seconds, really. Like, boom. I'm just kind of got big fingers. But it's like, bam, it slots in right there. Really nice. It has a quarter 20 slot on the bottom, of course. So you can connect that to whatever you want. And overall, I think this is a fantastic addition to my kit. Um, not going to lie. The simplicity of it. I like it. I like it a lot. I would say you make sure that you hold on to the book because that will actually give you some information on how to use it. But other than that, I like it. Affiliate links down below if you wanna check it out. And if you use that, I appreciate you very much. It helps support the channel. If you have any questions about this light, please drop them down below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.